Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on creating a simple PHP strategy game. Now in the last part we had dealt with this stats.php page which <coughs> allows us to go from the rankings page to the player stats page and in this place we can we can attack the user to steal their gold or their spy or not spy sorry or their food so what we're going to do is go back to this form and we are going to say instead of this right here we're actually going to delete that this will be the name will be gold and this name will be food so instead of attack we'll say raid for gold and raid for food now as you can see here we the player has two options and this area right here they're going to be using the number of turns to attack so what we're going to do first actually is go to the database and we're going to create a new table called logs this is going to hold all of the battle logs that we're going to be using so that way we know who did what and you know when the last attack was for the users so we need an ID a user so we need an ID of the log the attacker ID the defender ID um, we can also choose to include the attackers attack damage and the defenders defense damage as well as the gold and food stolen and the time so that's going to be a total of eight fields Oopsie. eight fields so now we have this so we have the ID the attacker the defender the attacker damage the defender damage gold stolen food stolen and then the time of the attack now for the attacker defender ID and time we can leave those as int but for the rest of them we're gonna have big integer 20 just so that way you know in case our stats get fairly large so we're gonna have that and let's not forget auto increment primary and then for these right here we're going to make these unsigned just so that way they can be the highest they can be so that's that for our table so if we save the table you'll see that we now have these logs what we're going to do right here is in this parentheses we're going to figure out how many times the user attacked this user you attacked this user in the last 24 hours so what we need to do is just get some PHP tags going and we're going to say attacks underscore check it'll be mysql query select ID again we don't need that much information from this from logs where attacker which is you let's see is equal to the user ID session and the the defender sorry is equal to the ID which is the ID of the player on the stats page or die mysql error so now we have that and right here we're going to whoopsie oh my god PHP echo mysql num rows of uh, log no not what did I save it as attacks check sorry check so now that you can see we have that there and if we refresh the stats page 
this should be 0 out of 5 because we don't have any attacks on that user. So there we have that. Now what we're going to do is, I'm probably just going to have to split this up into two tutorials, or two parts, sorry. So now we have the option to raid for gold and raid for food. These are essentially going to be the same, it just goes down to um, how much how much is stolen so so now that we have this and if we go to this you'll see battles not found battles not found because we haven't created it yet so what we're going to do here is again create a new PHP page and we're going to call this battle.php and let's see we're just going to copy and paste the rankings page any page will do but so we have this, and we're going to change this else into an else if, else if, not, whoopsie, actually, no, we're just going to leave that as is, we can do, um, if is set post uh, gold, then we have this, then we have our else if is set dollar underscore post food else. Now this else statement is if they just went to battle.php, meaning they didn't actually do any forms. So we're going to output you have visited visited this page incorrectly. So now we can see if we just go to battle battle.php, you have visited this page incorrectly. If we raid for gold or raid for food, that's that. So now what we have to do is first get the number of turns is equal to protect turned and we also want to get the ID of the user so ID is equal to be going to protect post ID now if you'll see in the stats page what I did here was I had this hidden ID field that will store the user ID that we're trying to attack so if we actually we'll just work on gold for right now so we have that what, first what we want to do is check to see if that user is valid or not because if somehow they manipulated that form to attack an invalid user then something's going to be wrong so first we'll do again user check will be equal to mysql query select star from stats where um, ID is equal to ID or die MySQL error so then we do if MySQL numrows of user check is equal to zero there is no user so output there is no user with that ID but if there is a user with that ID we're going to attack them so then we have to go on to our second error checking and first if the turns is positive and again if the turns is negative or sorry if the turns if the turns the number of turns they used is not between 1 and 10 so now we're going to change this else into an else if turns is less than one or turns is greater than 10. We need to output you must attack with one to 10 turns, something like that. Then if they have attacked with one to ten turns 
now we're actually going to calculate damage. Actually, now we have to see if turns is greater than stats turns to see if they actually have that turns. If the number of turns is more than they have, we're going to output you do not have enough turns. So now let's just check this. Um, before I do, I will edit my stats. Um, what am I? What am I? DMI. I am copophobia. So I'm one. Let's just say I have nine turns. So if we go to battle players and I find test account, let's just say first I do zero. You must attack with one to ten turns. And if I say 11, 1 to 10 turns. If I say 10, that's between 1 and 10, but I don't have that many turns. You do not have enough turns. So now if I say 9, I do have that. That's the most I have. Bam. We have that. So now what we're going to do, let me just see how much time I have left. Okay. I don't have as much time as I wanted to, but again, we're going to split this into two parts. So now we have that. So I can attack a user and either steal some of their gold or some of their food. Um, hold on. Okay, so what we're going to do here is um, the number of turns that they're using is the essentially the percentage of their attack that they want to use. One turn would be 10%, while 10 turns would be 100%. So I think I'm going to cut this tutorial a bit short and work on the actual attacking in the next part of the tutorial, which is fairly simple. We just have to compare the, the attack and defense of the two players. <gasps> oh, sorry, hiccups. <clears throat> and then figure out how much gold or how much food they've stolen due to the att attacks. So I will see you in the next part of the tutorial.